Hi, in this lesson I will show you how to create your own template for drawings in TechDraw Workbench. Our target example project that we will make will look like this. The sheet is A4. The dimensions of individual lines in millimeters are blue. Let's go to the TechDraw Workbench. Click this icon in the toolbar. We have a window with ready-made templates of various dimensions. We will create our own, so choose A4 Portrait Blank. To place our template we will use this function, insert a view of a draft workbench object. So let's go to the draft workbench. While drawing our template we will use the grid. By default it has 100 lines. This is not enough for our drawing. So we click Edit, Preferences, Draft, Grid and Snapping tab and set grid size to 600 lines. Settings do not always work right away then turn on or off the grid again or refresh with F5. We draw the main border using the rectangle tool and indicate the coordinates of two opposite corners. Let's disable the make face option. The default thickness and color of the lines are fine, so we do not change anything. Let's draw a line parallel to the boundary at 24 mm using snap grid. And in the data tab set its ends by modifying the X coordinate. Let's draw another line at the distance of 16 mm using the grid. And set its ends by modifying the X coordinate. A small comment, snap grid does not work on lines already created so we can not immediately create your line using the grid. You can optionally use the endpoint snap when drawing the template, but then each line should be drawn separately. Let's show for example. and delete. Let's get back to our template. Similarly, we draw the remaining perpendicular lines using the grid and modify the Y coordinates in the data tab.
Our main outline is ready. Time for text. To do this we use a tool creates text string in shapes. This menu in version 0.17 looks a bit different and we enter parameters in sequence. We indicate the place of text, enter our text, the height in our case in 5 mm and we have to choose the font file directly. It will be Roboto. This font is available in Google Fonts. Our inscription is grey, so in the view tab change the fill color to black. We copy our text by selecting it in the project tree and using keyboard shortcuts Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. The copy appeared in the same place as the original, so we do not see it. We move it using the move tool. In the data tab we change its string field. Again we copy our text scale. Move it lower. Change the size and string fields. and set it centrally. Similarly, we create the remaining texts by copying the previously created texts, moving them using the move tool and changing the string field in the data tab.
Our draft template is ready. Before we put in the blank sheet, we will create a group and put all the created draft objects in it. This will make it much easier to put our template on the sheet later. We select all objects in the project tree with keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus A. Uncheck unnecessary objects and drag to the group catalog. Let's get to our blank sheet. And change the workbench. We select our group in the project tree and click the tool. By default the draft view is centered so we have to move it a bit. In the data tab we set its coordinate x to 140. Our template is ready. For example, let's modify some text fields. We see that the fields change automatically on our template. Sometimes this may require refreshing with F5. Let's put some simple drawing on our template. First we turn off the visibility of our group. Let's move to the part to workbench. And create a cube. We change its dimensions to 60, 70 and 80 mm. Let's go to the TechDraft workbench and put the view of our cube. Let's add dimensions. Values are distorted relative to real dimensions because the view is in isometry. We will change these values manually later. We change the values of dimensions in the data tab. Our drawing is ready. Let's export it to PDF format. Select the page in the project tree and click in the main menu File – Export to PDF. Let's open the exported file in a PDF browser. 